So I am here to show you a small gadget that I've been sent, uh, the Hover X1, Hover Air X1. It is a little mini selfie camera, like a baby drone. Now it's not actually classed as a drone, it's designed to aid for the selfies, to do a little bit of Instagram, TikTok, you name it, you can do it for it. I've been using it in my videos up in Scotland and stuff like that when I've been doing my Scottish trips and uh, I've just started recently using it and it's been great fun to show you guys a little bit of difference without having to carry a big drone around with me. Now I'm down on the beach, uh, probably not the best place to be, I'm down on the beach, the wind level is low, it's calm and it's quiet. Now I've tried this little thing out in some extreme wind and it doesn't like extreme wind. Now what is it you ask yourself, what am I talking about? I'm talking about this. This thing I've just pulled out of my pocket. Yes, I pulled it out of my pocket. If I actually zoom down for you and show you down here, there is a pocket in the side of my trousers and I just pulled it out of my pocket. <laughs> so this is the idea, you keep it in your pocket, you keep it handy. I took this up to the old man's store and uh, I flew it up there and it was great. Now, yes, I've also flown it in a little bit of wind. I had it out yesterday and it was quite windy and quite turbulent and it flipped over and it crash landed. <laughs> It doesn't like flying in high winds. The idea is you literally open it up. You see that one-handed, I've taken it out of my pocket, one-handed, I've flipped it out. It's got these two little magnets that hold this little book type thing together. You take it out, you flip it apart, and uh, yeah, it's ready to go. And I can actually operate this one-handed if I want to. I can turn this around and I can press the on and off button, like so, and the little green light comes on on the front and it recognizes uh, the user and I just look at it and stare at it. And I think it doesn't matter who you're actually using it, uh, as long as it can see your face and it gets a good idea of the person it's looking at. And it's got these settings on the top of it. Basically, uh, you've got an on and off button, you press and hold it, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six little buttons on the top. And each time you press a button, it tells you what it's doing. Bird eye. So that's a bird eye view. Custom. That's Dolly custom. Track custom is sent to dolly tracks the dolly track means I can put it out in front of me and as I walk it will actually follow in front of me hover, hover that means it's going to stand there and hover it's just going to hover in front of me and I can walk around and uh, it's just going to stay there zoom out. zoom out that means it zooms out so basically like a big drone would do it would zoom out and then come back follow follow, follow basically means it's going to follow me simple it really is as simple as that an orbit, it's also got an orbit, which means it'll go round and round and round, but it only goes round once, it only does once, one turn and it comes back. It, it, it will do video in 2.7K, uh, so 2.7K video, which for me is plenty because I only use 1080p. I think I've got this set up to use it as 1080p because I don't have enough capacity on my computer for bigger ones. And it's got bird eye. Bird eye basically means exactly what it says, bird's eye view. It goes straight up in the air, does a little bit of video and comes back. So it's a way of adding video to it. So when I've got it on bird eye, I can press and hold the button. Seven meters. That goes to bird seven eye. meter bird high. Keep my finger on it. Nine meters, Nine meters bird, bird eye. eye. 15 meters, 15 meters bird, bird eye. That's straight up. I'm going to give that one a try in a moment. Five meters. And five bird meters is the lowest. So first of all, let's give a five seven meter. Meters. Let's go all the way down to a five meter bird eye and we'll literally take it all the way to the top. And you've got to go through, you've got to cycle through all the buttons. You just press and hold it. So for five meters bird eye. And that basically means all I've got to do then is just press the button for a second. It recognizes me. It will go up in the air, record, come back down and land in my hand. It's as simple as peas. It really, really is. So I'm just bearing in mind there's a few dogs running around and I don't want to scare them. So let me put the tripod down and uh, get this all set up and see if we can get this to work. And it is really, this is live. I'm doing this live for you. I'm not cutting the camera at all. I want to actually show you how this thing works and I'm going to get it up in the air. Let's come down away from the people. It's not a drone, it's not heavy, it only weighs a few grams. I'll put all the spec up on the screen for you so you can have a look at it. So yeah, let's just try this and fly it up in the air. They've got some people coming behind me now, so hopefully it won't bother them. So let's see if it goes up five meters and then comes back down and lands on my hand. Five Here we go. And off she goes. She's gonna go straight up in the air, five meters up in the air, 
she's going to do a bit of video while she's going up in the air as well now if you have your app open on your phone you can actually record the volume and it drowns out the sound of those props i've never tried it yet but i'm going to try it in a moment for you and see if it works so that should be up in the air now as i'm talking to you i can do my video i can set my camera up and stuff like that absolutely brilliant if you're actually doing a bit of photography yourself it's up in the air five meters and it's on its way back down now and it's actually turning as well like a bird would probably do when it's up in the air but it's coming down i can see it above my head now and it will pretty much come down to where it was before and hopefully look at that it's turned itself round. it's come back it's stopping and i put my hand underneath it literally put my hand underneath it and it lands in my hand how cool is that absolutely brilliant right orbit orbit and if you listen it tells orbit and it tells you how long it's going to orbit for press and hold 1.5 meters that's 1.5 meters so let's try that because it's nice and small you should be able to see it on the back of the video then so here we go give it a recognize press the button it can see my face it's going to take off out of my hand it's got a cage on it so there's no prop sticking out it's just literally holding on it can see my face it's going to go back 1.5 meters and i've also set it up on my camera that it goes up as well so you can set it up on your phone on my camera i set it up on your phone and it's going around in circles 1.5 meters and recording me while i'm talking to you which is absolutely brilliant and it's watching me all the time so you can set it to go up in the air or you can set it to go straight back out by using the phone app and then it's going to come back 1.5 meters and there it is green light so i'm put my hand underneath it and it lands <laughs> that is so so wicked and here we go let's go to a follow me go all the way around follow five minutes follow hold and hold continue 30 seconds follow let's just do a 30 seconds follow shall we ready it should be able to recognize my face it's looking at the person it wants to follow it's now up in the air the red lights on and it's going to follow me so as i walk away it comes with me so as i walk around it's behind me and it's following as i walk around and as i'm walking around it's still following me and the red lights on and i can see it and then i put my hand underneath it and it lands in my hand it's so so cool so one more we should try zoom out shall we let's just try a zoom out so we go around to zoom out test how far it's going to zoom out nine meters should we try nine meters why not so press and hold one little touch on the top of the camera it's recognizing this looking at me red light should come on off it goes it's going to fly away nine meters and then come back hopefully you can see it in the screen still nine meters look at that it's a long way that might have been 15 meters i can't remember what i had it set to now still recording it's doing a bit of recording and it's on its way back in i've got no controllers on my hand i've got nothing at all this is literally hands free it's coming back it's coming back it's coming back and it stopped in front of us the green lights on put my hand underneath it and it's back absolutely brilliant so what i'm going to try now is i'm going to try a little bit of a follow me i'll do a bit of recording and uh, see if i can get it to record the voice and try that because i've never done that before and you can actually do this by hand as well by using the app on your phone uh, not done it before so maybe i should give that a go as well but i'm just going to stop the recording for a moment uh, because i've been talking now for nearly 10 minutes so i've got my phone out and you can see in the middle i've got the hover x1 app and i bring the app up like this so once you get the app up you can go into your drone you can see I've got a drone, I can press connect and it should connect to my drone. And once it's connected, it's just spoke to me, so we press done. Right, so now we're connecting, it's got a little smiley face and it's starting to spin and it should bring up all the videos and everything that I've recorded over the last week or two uh, with having a play with and using. You get about eight minutes of life and I've got the combi set. The combi set comes with two batteries and a little dual charger. Uh, you can charge this with a USB on the side. You've got a little USB socket that you can plug this in and charge it and download all your footage. So let's just go back out. Let's go into uh, functions. Uh, what we've got in here, we go 
you've got all your little functions you've got your hover your zoom out and stuff like that you've got some other custom functions the dolly track and things where it walks in front of you so if you're riding a bike and things like that i think it's an absolutely fantastic little idea so anyway that's enough of that um, i'm going to get the spec out just to give you a quick rundown of what's actually this thing actually does and this is a longer video than what i intended to do for this little tiny gadget that i keep in my pocket so let's have a little look and see what it says about this thing as i walk back up the beach because i definitely need a cup of coffee so you've got uh 20 kilometers an hour that's what it says it will follow in um protected props like i say it has this little cage around it so you can it's definitely protected ease of use 100% 200% ease of use absolutely fantastic um, six to eight minutes of fly time plenty because if you're only doing 30 second clips or you know something like that that's all you need just to show that little bit of b-roll and if you've got the two batteries better still it's got an internal storage of 32 gigabyte which for me is perfect because it just means I can add those extra little bits of clip to my videos and stuff like that uh, folded dimensions it is 120 millimeters 145 millimeters by 30 millimeters told you it's tiny didn't I it weighs with the battery, 125 grams, ultra super lightweight, absolutely super lightweight. It will shoot in video mode. Uh, we've got 2,704 by 1520 at 30 frames per second. We've got uh, 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second. And we've also got 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second HDR, uh, so high definition. Um, battery capacity is 1,500 milliamps. And it's got a charging time of 35 minutes to maximum charge um, which is it's pretty awesome really and it? it's pretty good it's a lovely little spec machine uh, quite quite lightning now if you buy the combi the combi regular price is 439 pounds uh, at the moment there's a sale on for 395 and i think you can get the standard one for 345 i think it is at the moment um, electronic image stabilizer which is also really fantastic uh, i love all that and i've got all this written down purely because i can actually show you and i downloaded the manual as well so uh, i can actually learn to fly it even though you don't need to learn to fly it because it tells you what it's doing when it's doing it anyway if you want to know anything about this thing do please let me know but this is absolutely a game changer for me i'm going to love using this and uh, i'm just going to open it up now put it on and follow me back up the beach and uh, i'm going to be done so press and hold three seconds pick follow me follow. that's going to fo mode. follow press and hold to see how long it's for five minutes follow continue follow 30 seconds follow 30 seconds follow and that'll be it. And there it is, ready to go. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. Ciao for now. See you soon. And hopefully, you'll be seeing a lot more of this thing as and when I'm using it. Or you won't be seeing it. You'll just be seeing what it's doing. Because that's what it's all for. Ciao.